Hey guys, it's BT Gamer Girl 11 back with another video. This is going to be my updated NES collection video, and this was the second one requested. So, if you guys want to request any other collection videos for me to update, just let me know in the description below. So, let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, I'm going to start off with the box games that I have, and the first one is Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and it's complete. Then, I have The Legend of Zelda. This one I actually got, no, this one came from Goodwill. That one was $11. This one I actually picked up for a quarter, and it's in really, really nice condition, and that's The Adventure of Link, so two. So, this was probably the best NES game that I got in my collection, price-wise. I got Rollerball. Great game. Double Dribble. Rad Racer, American Gladiators, fun game, so is this one, TNC, Surf Design, right, yeah, Wood and Water Rage, it's a long title for you, Super Mario Brothers, Duck Hunt, and World Class Track Meet, need to get that sticker off, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first one. Uh, Tenjin Pac Man. Godzilla. I have this game action replay. Excite Bike. Got RC Program, Ring King, Cyber Stadium Series Base Wars, fun game, Jaws, Super Spike B Ball, Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. And then, of course, Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Super Mario Brothers 2. And Super Mario Brothers 3. And I got Bases Loaded, second season. I love the Bases Loaded games. The Goonies 2. I need to get all these Goodwill stickers off of my games. Platoon. And skate or die. As you can see, I'm like way too lazy to take the stickers off. Tiny Toon Adventures. Great game. Another great game. Qbert. The Simpsons Bart vs. Space Mutants. Mickey Mousecapade. Gyromite, or Gyromite, however you want to say it, uh, Destination Earth Star, and this one has the manual with it and a random sticker on the bottom. Sorry for the loud noises. Top Gun. Pinball, another Tinjun game, RBI Baseball, got Tetris, of course, and Tetris 2, Spot, and 10 Yard Fight. Then in boxes I have Ghostbusters, and these basically are the ones that came in these boxes, with the exception of like one. 
So I just kept them in there. This one you can't see because it has a case and it has a thing which I'm actually going to take out and use for something else. But that is Soda's Revenge Star Traffics 2 in really good condition. And, and this one's kind of funny because it came with a Jurassic Park manual for Game Boy and then a Game Boy consumer information booklet. So if anybody needs that manual or if anybody has that game for Game Boy, let me know. Because I would like to have it considering, you know, I got the manual for it. So. Then I have the first Star Tropics, which is right here. Also in really nice condition. And another game that I don't have, but it came with this game in the back, was Dino and Ricky. So if anybody has The Adventures of Dino Ricky, let me know because I need that one too. I'm actually looking for that game. Right, then I got Donkey Kong Classics. It's got Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. on it. And the manual's in the back. And I got Ghostbusters 2. And Blades of Steel. And then last but not least, I got a Game Genie, which came from Blockbuster a long time ago. So that is my GameCube, I mean my GameCube, my NES collection. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think I've gotten a little bit more since the last time I did an update video, but not that much. But then again, you know, in my area, NES games are hard to find. Like pretty much if you want NES games, you got to either find them on Craigslist, which most of the time people are selling them for ridiculous prices, or you have to just go to eBay or Amazon or somewhere and buy them from that, because for some reason in my area, anything that's retro is like hard to find. So that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and have a good day.